What's up guys, welcome to this video on Elvis is the Man. So I got some info that I think a lot of you don't know, but I wanted to share with you guys and I wanted to get your opinion on this matter. All right, so listen to this. So in March 1970, Colonel Parker came up with an idea for a closed circuit concert for Elvis. He was gonna get paid $1.1 million for this. There was a $100,000 down payment that was split between Parker and Elvis for this by the production company Filmways. So this was March 1970. The idea was to have a closed circuit, full concert, right from the beginning to end, just one concert that fans would pay, you know, and buy a ticket to see in a movie theater, you know, like, um, say, the Frasier Ali fight, that sort of thing. Now, at that time, the only time this type of thing had been done was for sporting events. So this was going to be a first of its kind. So before Aloha, you know, because that's the only concert we have from beginning to end, just a one-time thing, this was going to be 1970. Now, what happened was Parker said that if this is leaked at all to the press, there's no deal and we keep the 100000 So it's unclear exactly who leaked it, but unfortunately it was leaked and they scrapped the plans. Now, what came from that was what we know now is that's the way it is. Uh, Parker then started to talk with Kirk Akurian and MGM decided to do a six show recording of a film documentary, you know, what we have right now. So we got the like the rehearsals, six shows were filmed, backstage, all that. So that's what came of it. And I'm very happy that we have it. But man, can you imagine and say maybe March or April probably would have been a few more months after that us having a complete Elvis show filmed like Elvis was so energetic at that time, and this was just before the third Vegas season, like five months before. Would you rather have that that's the way it is as we have it now, which we don't really have that much of it? I mean, I'm happy for what we do have, but, uh, you know, we basically have the original version, and then we have the special edition with a bunch of stuff on YouTube that is very, very low quality. Would you rather have a pristine Elvis concert for maybe April? or May 1970, you know we'd have it on Blu-ray. I'm kind of leaning towards that. It's hard to say. I mean, if you were, if say that did go through and then, you know, 40 years later, I'm like, hey guys, would you rather have a one concert or that that's the way it is with six concerts film and all that? I think we would all say, well, we'd rather have, uh, you know, the rehearsals and that that's the way it is. But looking back, can you imagine one show Elvis would be paid $1 million for it. One show. Elvis would have been so charismatic and energetic. Yeah, we have Aloha from Hawaii. And he sings great. You know, this is Aloha week, really. But uh, a full concert in 1970 would be much more energetic. Maybe it wouldn't even been in Vegas. Maybe it would have been out on the road. Even though he didn't have anything planned until, you know, from the Houston Astrodome to... Uh, his third Vegas engagement, maybe there would would have been a couple special live shows where you get a, a real excited crowd. So tell me in the comments what you guys think. Unfortunately, this plan was scrapped. I would love to have both. But uh, talk to me in the comments, guys. Tell me what you think.